Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a happy Wednesday. Today I wanted to talk about the keys to having a good long distance relationship. At Midwest Matchmaking, we work with clients across the Midwest, so offering advice on how to navigate a successful long distance relationship is something that we do quite frequently here. And as I was kind of thinking about this, I was thinking that, that these tips and advice that I'm going to go over today also are beneficial for those who are navigating a relationship during the quarantine because a lot of us are not um, maybe seeing our significant other at all due to some kind of pre-existing health conditions or personal preferences not to. So these tips can be useful for the quarantine as well as long distance dating. Um, the, the interesting thing I was, I was finding out as I've been working with clients who have been in long distance relationships is the actual satisfaction levels when it comes to being in a long distance relationship tend to be greater than even if you were dating somebody in closer proximity. The reason for that is that you really spend a lot of time talking and communicating with that person and getting to know them on a deeper level than if you were to be out running errands or going on a jog or just kind of tuning out together watching a TV show if you were face to face. So it actually does create a deeper, a deeper connection and a deeper bond, which is one of the beneficial things of having a long distance relationship. With that being said, it is not difficult or it is not easy to do and it does take some necessary steps to make sure this relationship is going to work out and hopefully end to the, the end goal of being together in closer proximity. So the first thing is to have good communication. Communication is absolutely key in any good relationship. And when it comes to long distance relationships, it's especially important. You need to be on the same page and communicate with your partner regularly. So simple things as good morning, good evening, um, letting them know that you're thinking about them, letting them know that you care about them, they're on your mind, and that they mean something to you is very important. Um, keeping your partner updated on things important to you in your life, like your friends, your family, um, anything going on at work, just your day-to-day -day life is, is also something to communicate about. Sending random photos and text, um, even if they're nothing really important, just kind of silly. Once again, little innuendos, letting that person know that they are on your mind. Um, sharing details. So sometimes when we are in close proximity with somebody, we just kind of let them know, oh, yeah, I went to this uh, event for work and it went well. But when you're navigating a long distance relationship, it's important to share details and stories rather than a brief description. Um, you want to make your partner feel like you really care, you really miss them, and you are taking the time to share those details. Next, do things together. Well, you may wonder, how do I do things with this person if I'm 2,000 miles away from them? There's actually a lot of things you're able to do together, fortunately, due to the roles of technology that we now have. So online, you can play games together. You can watch um, uh, Netflix together, uh, binge on a, on a Netflix show, or watch a documentary together, um, play puzzles online together, Go on a walk with your camera and, and chat via video. Read a book together. You can even go online shopping if you're um, feeling risky and wanna do that. And if you really are feeling risky, want to buy each other gifts together. Um, these are all good ways to create experiences together while you are living apart. Finally, you do need to visit each other. Obviously, the, the longer that a relationship goes where there's distance, you're going to really want to see each other. So I recommend seeing each other at least every two to three months in person for at least four to five days if you're able to do that. Um, try to stick to a schedule and try to pre-plan these visits because when you're in a long distance relationship, this is what you're going to look forward to more than anything is actually being able to hug that person and have affection and um, be in a relationship with them where you're able to hold hands and do things in person. Um, when you are planning these visits, I, I would really recommend planning activities and things that you've been wanting to do, but maybe you're waiting to do them with that special someone than by yourself or with a friend. It's also important to have an end goal. So you don't want this long distance relationship to go on forever. I mean, what's the point? 
Um, at least most people don't, don't plan on having a long distance relationship forever. So it's important to make plans and goals for the future. Um, if you find that, that one of you or both of you are having a hard time sticking to those goals or those timelines, then perhaps this isn't the right person for you. Um, both people must be willing to be on the same page here and they both, they both must be willing to make sacrifices. Um, one way or another, somebody may be having to transfer, quit a job, um, leave family, whatever the situation is, and it's important that you're both making sacrifices to make that work. Enjoy your time when you're not with your partner. So you will find that when you are able to finally be with that person in close proximity, you're going to not have as much time to do the things that you once enjoyed doing on your own. So I would really recommend taking advantage of that time spending time with friends, spending time with family, enjoying hobbies that you may not have as much time to do once you're with that person or living with that person. Um, I can tell you, you know, personally, once you get married and have kids, um, you seem to lose contact with your friends and doing some of those fun hobbies that you once took for granted, um, they're, they're not available anymore. And while you have the, the family and your loved one and your kids, um, you, you do kind of miss those things. So take advantage of being able to do those things when you are in that long distance relationship. Just because you're, you're not with that person does not mean you need to be lonely. Use video calls. Um, video calls are something that we're all getting a lot more used to these days, whether that is a Zoom call, a FaceTime call, Skype call. Um, there's, there's numerous different applications you can use to do these, but Rather than just having a phone call or a text, if you're doing a video call, you're able to have eye contact, you're able to have body language. It's much more personal and it just will make you feel a lot more close to that person. So I would, I would recommend using video calls as frequently as possible when being in a long distance relationship. We're so lucky to have these tools today that um, not that long ago we didn't have. Know your partner's schedule. So I don't mean to be a complete stalker here or encourage you to be one, but it's important to know your partner's day-to-day -day routine. I mean, you're, you're going to wanna know that and it's obviously something that when you're in closer proximity, um, you wanna know what their life's like and, and likewise for them with yours. It also allows you to know when they're generally going to be more available to text or chat. You don't wanna be texting them nonstop if they go to the gym in the morning or um, they have meetings a certain time of day or lunch meetings. So it's really nice to know when this person is available so you're not bothering them and they're not bothering you. Um, and it's a pleasure to be able to talk to them. Also, it allows you to follow up with them on how specific events went. So if you know they had um, a really important meeting or um, you know a, a fun exercise class or whatever it is, you're able to know, okay, this is something this person did today and it allows you to show that you're engaged and that you listen to them and you're able to talk about those events. And the last tip of advice I want to give you for navigating a successful long distance relationship is to be confident in the relationship. Um, I think this is with relationships in general, but it's especially difficult when you are potentially thousands of miles away from somebody if you're not confident and you don't have trust in that person, then you really don't have much of a relationship. Um, this is difficult. You, you have to make sure you really trust this person. Um, in order to do this, you both need to be able to create boundaries that you're comfortable with. So this comes with communication. You don't wanna be over communicating or under communicating. You guys need to get on the same page here to make sure that you're not blowing them up and driving them crazy, but at the same time that you're not giving them enough communication to show that you care. If you wouldn't want this person doing something, then you shouldn't do it either. Um, this is a fine line when it comes to things you would post on social media or when you're going out with people, flirting, etc. cetera. Um, you need to be very careful here. If this is someone you care about just because they, they couldn't potentially walk into the same establishment and see you flirting with somebody, um, they're still your significant other and if you care about them, you need to treat this like a, a relationship that, that you would want to be treated the same way. And that is all I have for you guys today. If there's anything you would like me to discuss, I would absolutely love ideas. I do do my live videos once a week and um, I try to make them diverse and something that will work well for both men and women listening. If you're interested in our service, please go to MidwestMatchmaking.com. We would love to help you. We are so busy right now due to the fact that, um, let's face it, a lot of establishments are closed and meeting people is, is tough. So 
If you are wanting a safe way, a private way to meet selective and busy singles like yourself, let me help you. I have been doing this for 15 years professionally and I have successfully matched thousands of people who are very picky and um, know what they want. So anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and I look forward to hearing from you.